Hi, my name is Jason Simpson. I'm the director here at the Panorama Snow School. Just about to head up on the mountain and I'd love to share a few tips with you to help improve your skiing. I'll see you up there. Okay, so what I'd like to discuss with you today is, is how to steer or guide your skis more positively. So I was skiing with some friends the other day and while they stand really strong and ski athletically, their understanding on how to guide the ski is sometimes a little bit confused. So we're going to take a look at that today, what the difference between pushing and steering is all about. Let's go have a look. So often I see people skiing like this. I call it skiing with the back of the ski. You can see how I push the back of the ski out instead of guiding the front, which I'm going to show you here in a moment. Okay? So in that example, what you saw there is I was kind of skiing with the back of my skis or pushing a little bit. So in the next series, I'm going to show you a little bit on how to guide the skis better. All right, let's go have a look. Okay, so let's take another look. Once again, I'm turning the back of the ski more than the front. The result is that I'm skidding a bit or sacrificing edge grip and ski performance. Okay, so how, to, how do I learn to steer my skis better? One of the things that I envision is like skiing barefoot on the skis. So, you know, no boot, no binding, and trying to stay glued onto that ski. So if I push the tail, you can imagine I actually slide off of the ski. I'd no longer be on it. So if I start to envision the way I steer that my feet kind of chase the tips, I'll start to steer differently and use the front of the ski more than the back. So let's have a look at what that might look like. Okay, so check out the difference. I'm now focusing on directing the front of the ski. My barefoot, no binding thoughts demand that my feet travel an arcing path, boots chasing the tips. This is in contrast to the braking movement caused by skiing with the back of the ski. The result is I'm able to develop edge grip and ski performance more naturally. I have the confidence to bend the ski and accelerate across the hill. All right, so next time you're out skiing, just a couple of things to think about. Uh, to keep the tail of your ski underneath your body. So as you start the turn, don't displace the tail. Keep it right underneath your body, or underneath your butt cheek, believe it or not. The other thing is to start to envision that your feet stay on the skis, or kind of guide or chase towards the tip of the ski and not slide off. So those two ideas, uh, and thinking about being barefoot on the ski, I think all of those things together will really uh, start to change your skiing. So until next time, uh, I'm Jason Simpson for Ski Canada Magazine and Panorama I'm a snow school. Have a good time skiing out there. Catch you later.